right, so this is what we got. Uh, so this, this valve right here has uh, cracked from the cold. And this PVC pipe is not doing well, even in the mild winters that Tennessee has. So we're going to be taking this entire system out and replacing it with a PEX system. And this is going to be a much, much better for us. So what we've done is this, as you can see here, we've had a couple of uh, good cracks from the from the frost and whatnot. So it's just time. Every year we've got a problem. So we're going to upgrade to the PEX. Little Miss is going to film this craziness. And uh, Sam and I are basically going to go medieval on this thing. I just get it done so uh, sit back and enjoy and when we're done hopefully we'll have a good working system all right here you go little miss okay so the water is off on both valves so what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that um, we get the big pipe out from in between uh, first and then uh, that's going to allow us to spin these big valves off. So, hand me that sawzall, please. All the water's turned off, so. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Sam, go ahead and pull this big piece out All right. and get these other two pieces out of here. All right. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's see. Okay, go ahead, buddy. Where am I putting? Just set it off. This size with the throw it out. Alright, go ahead. Let's uh, get the tools wiped off. good in theory but um, when the solar system doesn't charge on the winter 
quicker in the winter, then uh, your heat strip don't work. So. All right, so this is going to be a lot of water, uh, and it's it's not going to be easy uh, to do this. So we we've already we already know there's a risk here of losing a lot of water. This tank right here is absolutely full. The tank behind me is three quarters full, so we're going to lose probably about five or six hundred gallons of water doing doing this. So the thing that we want to do is we've pre-made our we've we've pre-made our PEX uh, valve system here, and I'll explain why we use two valves. We only run off of one tank at a time. That way, if there's a hose or a, a pipe issue like with this particular one, we can isolate a different tank and use that while we make a repair. Um, this also provides us the ability to have a reserve tank that's topped off in the event that um, it doesn't rain forever or whatnot. So obviously that's not really a big deal, but it's part of having that redundancy in the system in order to make sure that when we need water, we have water. So, all right, here you go, Sam. Uh, I need that gray pipe wrench. All right. And this is going to spray everywhere, folks, so it's, it's, it's all right. I mean, that's just the way it is. There you go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. And you can see the water coming down where it's split. So, Sam, get ready with that other one. Uh, okay. And what this is doing is taking the pressure off. So that, that didn't go as planned. Uh, we lost a lot more than 500 gallons of water. And the reason for that is um, the valve wasn't open. So managed to get the water stopped. We didn't lose a whole lot. Um, well, we lost a lot, right? What I mean is, is we still got, I got, uh, right, I got about half a tank. So that's how much water we lost right here. Which, you know, I don't know. I think it's more like a thousand gallons than 
um, 500, but it is what it is. So we're getting all the vegetation out. We have pokeweed that comes up through here. Um, it grows super fast and it's super tall. So we want to make sure that we get that out of here. Is that you, buddy? No. I don't know what that was. What are you growling at me for? I didn't mean to, Father. Oh, okay. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a refreshing job on a hot day. Um, we're trying to beat this storm that's coming, and I think that was actually thunder we just heard, so hopefully that's true. And uh, our tanks will be topped off after a good, good solid rain. So once we get this area cleared out here, uh, we'll get the other valve installed, and then um, we'll get the cross pipe in and the T fitting in, and then this job is done. So. The hard part on tank one is done. Uh, it's got just a little bit of a drip, so obviously you can't use plumber's tape on that because it'll come right off with the rush of the water. Uh, ideal situation, tank is empty, you can use plumber's tape and that's it. But it's a plastic fitting that it's going into so it'll self-seal. I, I just have to tighten it up as tight as it'll go and then uh, the drips will stop and even a small drip is not that big of a deal you're talking thousands of gallons of water so all right we'll come back as soon as we get this mess cleaned up and then we'll start on the second valve and then the job will be almost done
1200 gallons left in this one. All right, we're good. We're good, guys. And kids are measuring out 12 feet of PEX to run between the two tanks. So we use this cross piece to help equalize the tanks and we put a T-fitting in the middle so that that goes into the house plumbing. So what we're going to be having is a one inch to a half inch T in the middle. And uh, what this does is it helps equalize the tank um, levels. So as it rains and they fill up, one tank is not um, more full than the other tank. So uh, right now with what Sam's doing is he's trying to straighten out this, this PEX. We didn't bring our heat gun with us to kind of warm it up a little bit to make it a little bit better. But that one inch PEX is really stiff. So um, he's fighting it. Don't bend it too far, buddy. You gotta, you gotta, give Shelby that end that you're working on and you take the other end. Uh -huh. well, hurry up, we got thunder rolling, kids. We wanna take advantage of God's blessing here and refill our tanks. Come on, Sam. Pull your whole roll back. There you go, buddy. There you go, see? All right. You got kind of like a little snake mess there. Okay, that's good. Now slide the big spool back. Yep, keep going, Buck. All right, good. Now lay that down on the ground. Let's get a measurement. All right, put your hand where it is. Put your other hand, other hand. All right, now grab your cutter. There you go. You guys can probably hear the thunder rolling in the distance. God is saying, hurry up, kids, hurry up. Gotta love me, a Tennessee thunderstorm. All right, try to keep the ends out of the dirt, kids, because we don't want that in our water. All right, we're gonna get this T-fitting put in. And uh, we got uh, two, four, 290 degrees we gotta put in, T-fitting, and then we're done. All right, we'll catch you in a minute. All right, so this is the finished water system. Uh, we replaced the two inch PVC that was here with one inch PEX and PEX uh, valves. And uh, we got everything buttoned up. The only thing that is still kind of nagging me is I got a very slow drip on this front tank. Uh, we've tightened it down as far as it'll go without breaking something, so. It's just gonna have to be that way until it's time to empty the tank and, and do a cleaning on it in uh, another year or two. And then at that point, we'll go ahead and get all fresh plumber's tape on it and make it so it's not dripping anymore. All right, so I just had Sam drain that first flush out. So now it's gonna fill back up. And as you can see, you can see how quickly that ball is floating up into that system. Let's see how I can bring you in there. Yeah, so that's how much water is coming off of that roof right now. And that ball will fill up and then it'll act as a pressure valve and then it will fill up all of the uh, tanks. So that's probably about 50 gallons of water that's in that tube-ish. It's a lot. So we'll sit here and watch it climb up. I mean, it's coming down rapidly. See how fast that ball rises? And all the junk from the roof and everything have already been flushed out of that one uh, first, first go around. And uh, yeah. It'll rise up.
and then all that water will go into the first tank. When the first tank is full, it'll start to rise up into the second tank, and then they'll both equalize out as the water continues to go in. Once it hits the top, it'll go out through the overflow and then out through an overflow tank. So we kind of recover the overflow as well, and then there it goes. It's almost plugged up. And now we're making water. So there it is in the top. We're making water now, and that's filling up the tanks. Just like that. All right, so I'll let these guys fill up, and uh, there's the uh, little pee hole there where it pees the water out the bottom. That usually gets clogged up uh, with stuff. So I have to, you have to check those after every storm just to make sure they're cleaned out. But that's how we do it.